guys let's see so as you can see i have a box a box that have an inverter inside so we are going to unbox so guys this is a 4000 watts inverter we do have the booklet here which is telling you about a lot of different things basically we normally look at this last if we don't know what we're doing or if we are confused so let's just put this aside so now we have different cables we have the cigarette lighter which is the car charger area in which we can use this with a vehicle right we also have the clamp that we can clamp directly on our deep cycle battery right and we have the inverter we have four USB ports at the top. We have two connection ports here. And you can see we have the negative and the positive terminal. And also this unit also have a fan. And that's about it. And I saw this inverter online and I decided to buy this one and give it a test. However, I bought this specially to run an air condition unit. So when I do get the time, I'll be setting this up. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is just a brief setup to hear this come on and to hear the fan spinning and possibly to hook up something in these USB ports to ensure that they are charging. So let's go. So guys, as you can see, I do have a deep cycle battery here. This one is 100 AH. We are going to hook this up using the clamps. So we are going to connect the clamps on the terminal. We are going to be using these alligator clamps on the battery and also the terminal of the inverter. You want to release the screw here. You want to also release this one as well. What we need to do here, we need to remove the entire screw. Then, I have this thing put down for months and I wasn't able to do anything. I was so busy that I wasn't able to do anything. So what we're going to do is to just tighten you want to ensure that you don't mix up the black represent ground and the red represent life so that's basic stuff I shouldn't be telling you that but have to mention this in the video so what we're going to do here now we are going to connect positive on positive and negative to negative so guys you can see that this is off and it is actually showing us some voltage in this area it is telling us that we have 12.2 there it is actually off so what we're going to do, we're going to hit the switch and it is on, right? This is on. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn off, right? It also shows us the voltage that we have here. So let me go ahead, put it back on. It is actually my first time setting this up. It is showing me 221. So we're talking about the 220. So guys, I am going to plug in my studio lighting. We are going to test this out. So here we go. We are actually testing this together. So let's go. Wow. It's working. We are at to 20 volts. I just want you to have a look at my studio light. 
what I do like about this in water is that it is showing us the 12 volts which is 12.1 I will definitely need to charge this battery up and we are getting the 220 volts there right so it's actually working right we also have these usb ports so guys i am going to conclude this video but before i do so i am going to put this earphone to charge and what do you know without we turn on the inverter the usb cables are actually working it's actually 5 volts so we don't necessarily need to turn on the inverter to use the USB ports so that's quite cool so I am going to turn on again I do hope that this video was helpful to you in some way that's if you have seen this inverter on eBay or Aliexpress and you're mm -hmm. wondering if to purchase this and you are wondering if this is any good right this is actually a lightweight inverter it's not too heavy or anything like that you have four usb ports to charge your mobile devices and also other accessories such as headphones right and you don't necessarily need to turn on the switch to charge your devices you can just charge your devices right away so that's quite cool it also display the voltage on the battery so we know that the battery is at 12.2 normally i charge these up to about 12.8 when they are brand new they will go up to about 13 volts definitely it shows us the voltage in which we are getting here so i am currently using to 20 volts and if you notice that this is off then you know it can be an issue so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you guys in some way and my name is lens do like share and subscribe i'm out